Hey everybody, um, we're going to do a quick video today on how to use these two R buttons on the C-Arm. Um, it'll be with the OEC, um, so I just basically took a picture of the OEC control panel, shrank it down, so I can throw it over here in the corner. Um, if you're wondering why you're not seeing an actual C-Arm, the hospital I work at has a very strict policy on, uh, on taking video and pictures in the hospital, and especially the OR whether there's patients or patient information around or not. So unfortunately, I can't do this with a live C-Arm, which would be a lot easier. Um, so we're stuck with Adobe Illustrator uh, as our means of getting this message across. So if you bear with me, I'll try and uh, do the best I can to help explain this. Um, it's pretty simple once you know it, and, and once you get this down, no matter what position you're in, if you're on the right side of the table or, or the patient's left or the patient's right, you're gonna know which one of these buttons to hit it's it's so easy once you understand it. Um, so basically, I just made an aerial view of this uh, this C arm here um, with the smiley face. Got a couple images we're going to go over. This shouldn't be too long. It's not that hard once you get it down. So in case you're unfamiliar, um, the OEC has a smiley face on the right side. It, it may be scratched off due to the, the the age of the C arm, but always on the right side. And if you can match the right side of the C arm up with the patient's head. Um, you, you should never have to really hit these R's unless you're doing a special type of case. But generally speaking, whatever position your patient's in is how your image is going to show up. So if your patient is supine, your image is going to show up AP. It's always going to show up how you're seeing the patient. Even though you're technically shooting the x-rays from underneath the table and they're hitting the image, intensi image intensifier, you're technically shooting at PA, your image is always going to show up as you're seeing it, which in this case will be an AP, same thing for the hip. That's basically half of half of the problem right there. So if you understand that, you're halfway there. So if your C-arm and you're on this side of the patient and the doctor's working on this side, you shouldn't really have to, especially for ortho cases, you shouldn't have to hit any of these R's because the doctor's going to want to see the image, how they're looking at it, which technically they're, they're in the AP position, your image is already AP. Um, where we run into the problems is when we have to switch the C-arm to the other side and then we have to flip our image, right? So let's say the doctor's working on the patient's left. We're still in the AP position, uh, the, the patient's supine. But say he wants to do uh, a left hip, right? So the surgeon's always going to be on the patient's left if they're working on a left hip, which means we're on the right. Your image you want your image to show up like this and if we were still on the other side of the table it would show up like this but since we're on this side now we're gonna have to flip our image around right so here's how it's gonna look whenever you shoot on this side the patient supine they're in the AP the C arm is gonna shoot how the patient is laying so the image is still gonna be AP it's just gonna be upside down so let's go ahead and flip this upside down I'm just going to rotate it. Okay, so basically the image is AP, but we're just upside down. So what a lot of people think happens whenever you hit this R button here to turn the image right side up. We'll go ahead and highlight that. Boom. All right, so we hit the R button. We want to turn this image right side up. Here's what people think happens. They think the C arm just rotates this image around. So they think it just rotates like this and then your back AP, which it doesn't do that. What it actually does, so we're still in the AP, so I'm gonna rotate this back around. What it actually does is it flips it upside down like this. So now it looks like we're shooting a right hip, but it's a PA of the left hip, right? So this is why you have to hit both buttons. So we're gonna mirror this now and make it look like we're on the left hip, well, which we are on the left hip. So again, what people think is happening when they hit just the one is they think it's it shows up like this, they think the machine is spinning it like this and it's not. What it's actually doing is it's flipping the image end over end and you end up with a reverse image like this and that's why for orthopedics if you're on the patient's or if you're opposite of the surgeon on the patient's right and they're AP 
you need to hit both to get this image back. And that's basically for orthopedics. There are exceptions. This isn't really the rule, but there are exceptions to say an ERCP would be a little bit different, and we'll go over that here in a minute. But the same thing works for, say, a port. If we're on this side of the patient and the doc's working on that side, our image is going to show up like this. We don't have to hit anything. Our image is AP. Everything should be fine. Now, if you're working on the other side, which happens from time to time, our C-arm's over here. Again, your image is still going to be AP. It's just going to be rotated upside down. So if we only hit this button here, our image isn't going to spin. Our image isn't going to spin. It's going to flip end over end. And we end up with a PA chest, right? So again, in order to fix this, we need to hit our mirror button, like so, and flip it. And that's how we end up with an AP or PA, depending on how you're seeing the patient. That's how you get your image correct on this side of the patient. Okay. Now, for ERCPs, it's slightly different. Um, I've seen ERCPs done both AP and PA. <clears throat> uh, I'd say 90% of the time, I do them where the patient's prone or excuse me, when they're doing supine or prone. 90% of the time, the patient's prone, and usually I'm on this side of the patient, the doctor and everybody's over here, anesthesia's up here. So with what we now know about these images, all you have to do, and this is why all you have to do is hit this button here and not this one, and this is where people get confused. So these images are AP, and that's what we want because the liver's on the right, the gallbladder's on the right, so we want to see an AP image. But the, the patient's prone, which means the images are going to shoot PA, or excuse me, they're going to be shown PA. It's going to shoot AP, but they'll be shown PA. So let's go ahead and flip our images to a PA position, because that's how they're going to show up on our monitor. Now, again, being on this side of the patient, and we're going to be shooting on the patient's right, eh, right about over here somewhere. So what's going to happen is our image is going to be uh, PA, but like we talked about before, it's going to be upside down, right? So what will happen is since we're on this side and we want the image right side up, we're going to hit this button here. So now we've hit that. We're going to flip the image now again. It's not going to rotate it. It's going to flip it end over end and we're going to end up, even though we're, we're seeing a PA image here, we're going to end up with an AP image once we flip it. And that's how the doctor wants to see the image on screen as AP. Even though he's working prone in PA, they want to see the image AP. And that's why for ERCPs, you only have to hit this button and not both buttons. So again, we'll make this PA because that's how we're shooting. And we'll go ahead and turn these upside down. This one, well, let's highlight this one. And we'll highlight you. Oh. So when we go to shoot these now, they're going to show up like this. You know, and instead of freaking out, you now know that if you want that image flipped right side up, you're going to hit this one. But we also want to see it AP. So when we do flip it right side up, our image is now AP, and that's how we want it. And that's why you do not have to hit this button for ERCPs. If you do hit this button for an ERCP, you're going to flip it left to right and now it looks like the gallbladder is on the, uh, the patient's left, which we all know that it's not. So that's basically it in a nutshell, guys, how to flip your images to get them how you want them, with the ERCP being the exception, but pretty much the rule is what we discussed on this page. Uh, being AP or supine, and then flipping your, your C-arm and your images over to the other side. So that pretty much sums it up, guys. I hope that was, uh, that was pretty clear. Um, if it's not, leave some comments down in the bottom or, or anything else you guys would like to see. I'm going to try to do some more um, ortho videos for you guys. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to kind of get some of these out, again, because I don't have an actual C-arm that I can use. Uh, so I'm stuck trying to use my basic 
Adobe Illustrator knowledge to come up with some kind of video and illustrations that I can show you guys. Um, but leave you know leave some comments below on, on anything else you'd like to see if you want to see spine or hips any type of ortho surgery I'll try and throw something together and hopefully we can clear some stuff up for you guys. Thanks again for watching guys um, Like subscribe share this video with your friends uh, if you know somebody that might be struggling a little bit in the OR But again leave some comments below on any other videos you'd like to see and we'll uh, we'll try and get some out for you See ya